Great. So we just covered multiple streams of income. And our next subject is actually one of those streams of income. This is a deal that literally just unfolded before our eyes within the last two days. Uh, we had purchased a, a small group of loans. We purchased five loans maybe two years ago. Out of that group, there were some pretty rough loans in there. Rough meaning no equity protecting our position. We bought them at a very reasonable price, maybe $1,500 a piece. And we let those just sit there. We call them shelf loans. They sit there on the shelf. We take a look at them maybe once a year to see if anything has happened with the property, if the property maybe has gotten listed for sale. These are second mortgages that we bought. Uh, like I said, we bought them very cheap. If we had $1,500 into each one of these things, I'd be surprised. So, time flies. Maybe almost two years later, my phone rings. Uh, it's a company down in Florida. The loan is located in Miami, Florida. And my phone rings, and the property is in a short sale situation, meaning it's, go it's on the market. The realtor has a buyer found for this house. They have negotiated a short payoff with the first mortgage, and now they need to specifically get in touch with the second mortgage, which is me. They said that the only thing we can give you is $6,000. We said we can't accept $6,000. We came back with a counter offer of $15,000. They're going to work that out and see if they can't get the realtors to take a little bit of a pay cut when it comes time for closing get the title company to take a little bit of a pay cut at the time of closing, get the first mortgage to take a little bit less on their short payoff at the time of closing, and the borrower come up with a few thousand dollars at the time of closing so that we will get our $15,000. So when you are on title as a lien holder, in our case, it costs us $1,500 to purchase this loan, we then recorded our assignment and meaning that we have an official document that, that shows that we are the actual lien holder of this property. That gets recorded at the county. And when that does get recorded, any action on that property get, needs to notify everyone that's on title. And my company is on title on this property. And so we are a title blemish or a title flaw or a title cloud that needs to be taken care of to clear title so that a new owner can come in and buy this property. So for $1,500, we are a cloud, blemish, whatever you want to call it, that needs to be taken care of. So in this situation, for $1,500, we are totally in control of this sale. Meaning, if I do not agree to the $6,000 or to the offer that we come uh, to a final number, let's say they come back at me at, and say they can only go up to $9,000. At that point, I have the option to say, you know what, I'm just going to not allow this sale to go through. Meaning the realtors are not going to get paid. The first mortgage is not going to get paid. We are not going to get paid. And the title company and the realtors that are uh, actually running this short sale are not going to get paid. So for $1,500, I have truly an option on this property. And so that's a typical deal that happens on a weekly basis. Our phone rings and they want to clear the title. They come in with a lowball offer and we respectfully decline the lowball offer. And now we control the sale. Uh, it's never failed for us to come back and get a decent number for our uh, asking on negotiation. So that's it. That's a typical deal. One that it's not a huge win for us. Uh, we're into it for $1,500. We'll probably accept $12,000. We had to wait two years for that, but that's a serious return if you look at it percentage-wise. So again, thanks for tuning in to No Conference. Our next video, we are going to be discussing my favorite subject.
self-directed IRAs. It truly is my favorite subject. It truly is the greatest laws on earth or in the United States that are written in your favor. Tax laws that are written in your favor that no one talks about. Okay? So again, make sure you check that one out. It's, uh, it's going to be a good one. Thanks again.